Now, let me go back to the documentation. And, okay, no, no, actually, we got to go back to the Flickr documentation. And it says URL, and it's a, a, right here, it says returns a list of public content matching some criteria. So here's the URL. And, well, if you look, in this example, he's, he said ID, and he put that. But instead of using ID, why don't we look? We we have all these different things that we could put in, or actually multiples of it. Let's um, let's go back to the example here. Uh, oh, you know what? Sorry, I kind of just jumped over it. Um, this is the feed that it's pulling from. The limit obviously was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You know, just said how many things it puts back. But if you look at the option right here, is the Q string, the query strings it's as the author says is the most important setting yeah because that's essentially what's pulling back the specific results we want and then it's also telling you that uh, depending on which feed you use there's a dump, uh, a bunch of different query par parameters available perfect so so in that page that we looked at right here these are the query parameters and you know so just take a quick peek you know public photos and you see that it has ID IDs tag tag mode format and language and then when we look if we kinda go back to a different one there's likely ah look there you go it's they're different but pretty much you know the, the functionality is the same you're just gonna plug in different stuff so why don't I uh, well you know what I want I want to use in the public I need tags I need to find stuff that's pictures of St. Petersburg alright and the tags tags is something that um, Flickr uses that you could put so, like data on it you know it's like if I were to take a bunch of pictures of say like me and my family but then I just wanted to pull out the ones that had me and my mom or something like that I could tag photos that say I could tag mom in the photos with my mom and then I could you know pull out only the results with the tags mom on it and that's what it do so what I'm gonna do is just copy tags I'll go back here and instead of using the ID I'll just use tags I'll keep those single quotes in there and why don't I say St. Petersburg Russia let's see what that does for me theoretically I should get not the dogs ah oh, there we go look at that that's cool pictures of St. Petersburg Russia exactly right that's that's exactly what I wanted let me um let me get some more photos over here let me get like 12 of them hmm not bad not bad well that's exactly what I'm going for over here right so um well, what else? How else? I mean, if I wanted to add more stuff to here, I mean, more stuff to my search query and make it more specific, uh, well, how would I even do that? So I'm just looking. I guess it's interesting that the format is JSON because I think it because it seems like by default it has to be JSON, and you know, and it has this callback JSON callback as uh, as a question mark. Let me th that has to be the default. You know what? Those things need to be. Oh, uh, they don't even say it, but I. I'm assuming these are the default settings because you know why? Um, if the format wasn't JSON, our jQuery wouldn't accept it, and if the callback wasn't a question mark, we likely wouldn't be getting also our Yahoo Weather and the Wikipedia feed because those all, you know, it's like we, we talked about this before, is that if you don't have that callback set to a question mark, which uh, makes it seem like JSON with padding, whatever just I'm just throwing out the keywords the buzzwords again for you to kinda remember them um, it wouldn't allow this cross domain scripting so again there's no mashups and I guess you would call this a mashup there's no mashups without JSON and specifically JSON P with JSON with padding that allows this cross scripting to happen right so and that's all from that callback question mark I know a little very specific non-intuitive stuff here but these are the little details that it's gonna really um, make your life a bit easier so
just in summary when or oh no no before I summarize anything I want to go that if you want to add more stuff like referring to the jQuery services if I wanted to now just if I wanted to get like like I said before maybe s pictures of St. Petersburg that have only my mom in them so if I were to uh, upload photos of me and my family in St. Petersburg first I could put in my ID and then I would put that right in that under here I could start with ID right and I put whatever my ID was and I don't even know um, I guess I guess it would be good to go to Flickr and find somebody that actually has uh, pictures of St. Petersburg and I'll show you how to just isolate them St. Petersburg Russia like a specific user that way I could you know we'll just look at okay St. Petersburg and look at this Gina's pics and here's Gina and here's her Flickr ID and I'll pull it straight from there so now I could go back to my query and under ID I'll put her number I'll put another single quote and a comma and now there's two parameters I'm searching for over here there's I want all of the photos tagged as St. Petersburg Russia within this user ID so I should likely get different results than what I have now I might not even get all the results oh well or any results for that matter okay well well this is oh here we go maybe I should search Gina's photo stream and I'll go uh, St. Petersburg. I don't know why the results came up then if, if it didn't have anything in there. Oh, okay, maybe I was wrong syntax. So let's see if we get some of these in there. St. Petersburg. There we go. So we should get these similar photos in ours. I swear it's going to work. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you see I had to do a little fishing around for the exact information I needed, but essentially that's what it took to keep on adding uh, parameters so you could fill this Q string with more and more stuff you just have to make sure that if you're using the public feed which is the default one um, just check what options are available to you and if you're gonna change from a different public feed to one of these other ones you gotta make sure you use the right uh, the right string parameters because it's just not gonna work for you if you don't 